Oh, hey, I don't know, you were coming. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing some filmmaking. I might do it in uni. I heard of a film star to come in. Really? I heard he Oh, thought you might be here. You never miss a thing, you do. Yeah, man, yeah, man, come on in, man. Good to see ya. Thank you again for giving up your time. Wow, look at all these books. I'm Leroy. I'm a documentary filmmaker. And today, we're going to be starting a project looking at the heritage of the Wilbraham Estate. What's heritage? There's a lot of you in it. Honestly. Do you want me to permanently raise your eyebrow? Just let him explain, will you? Most young people think that heritage is boring, but it's not. Heritage is really about what makes us who we are, you know? Where you come from, where your family then come from. It's about the things and the places that inspire you. The buildings, the parks, the roads, the culture, the life, the history, the legacy of your predecessors. Legacy? What's Lego got to do with history? <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the building blocks of our history. Indeed. It's off his head. The building blocks again. of the history are the stepping stones to the future. Your future, which is now the present. A gift from the past. Are we getting presents? Will we be on the telly? Honestly. Ooh. Yes, yes, all right. Now, does anybody know when this estate was built or even why it was built? Homes for heroes. What, like Batman? No, proper heroes, ex-soldiers. Spot on, man, spot on. Keith, isn't it? Yeah. Very good, man. Oh, well, isn't he dead clever? No, he's a shower. Well, I think that leads us nicely into our special guest. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Leroy. Leroy. Oh, that's nice. My name's Mavis. Nice to meet you, Mavis. Oh, now, Mavis has lived on the estate all of her life. I was born here. Not here, but on the estate. So does anybody have any questions that they'd like to ask Mavis? No? All right, I'll start. Did you know any famous people that lived on the estate? Oh, I know one of them, but I can't tell you what. What's her name? Ah, Elsie Tanner. Yeah, man. Pat Phoenix. Pat Phoenix, that's it. Did you live in a house when you were a kid? My parents moved onto this estate in 1923, the year I was born. So I grew up in a lovely place, all brand new. We even had an inside toilet. Wait, you didn't have an inside toilet? Not in the dwellings where my parents moved from. All the toilets were outside and shared by other people in the street. Yeah, imagine having to go outside. How much were the houses back then? Well, they weren't cheap. I mean, people had to be rich to buy one. My, my dad worked in the park, you know, to, to earn extra money on trying to get money into the house for the wages and all the things that were needed to be paid for. So you really didn't have a bath then? Eva, hey, wouldn't live in a house that doesn't have a bath. I want a drink and I'm not paying for it. Standard. What's the need? I know I'm making bare noise and that we're trying to make a film here. Shut it! No, you either join in or get out. Nah, easy, easy, easy. Te ten minutes, everybody. Come. It's a lovely place to live round here, Bobby. I love it, I really do. Well, how do you know my name? Well, because you live near me, and I see you all the time playing football and think she's going to be a star. How's that? <laughs> what was this? So in the jaw? Yeah, Such an embarrassment. Are you show some respect, lad? Gabbish. Fatty! <laughs> <laughs> So, do you three have anything that you'd like to say? It's crap. We're never coming here again. Boring Muppets. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Flipping heck, it's warm in that place. It's cold at this place. Ugh. What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I've got something that belongs to somebody. Who do I go with? Who's the one? Thank you.
old whistle. I've had it for a long time. That's right. This is better than that daft project. It was Macca back then, it's Macca now. It's a waste of time. What's going on? What? Do you think I'm Ashtis? Are you from the big houses in Wally Range? You want about? The families there all have butlers. You're staring at weirdos. It's your clothes, they're rather queer. Don't say queer, you say gay. When, where did you come from? You just appeared, like magic. This is weird. They're weird. We can get out now to pick us up. I think I know where they're from. Mars. I think they're friendly. No sickly. Bobby, look. That's the day. That's today's paper. Tommy, look, look at the date. We've gone back in time. Nah, man, I'm gonna miss much of the day. Um, pardon my manners, but where are you from? Round here, Fallowfield. Have you moved on to the new world of mistake? Are you having a laugh? Please, may I see your whistle? MP, Mr. Perkins. He's a park keeper. This is his whistle. He lost it a few days ago, and we've been helping him look for it. He'll be so pleased. No, it's mine. Mavis gave it to me. It's rude to snatch. Mr. Perkins, Mr. Perkins, we found your whistle. Perkins, Perkins. Woohoo! Mr. Perkins, Mr. Perkins! Oh, girls, we're in the fire! We found your whistle. Oh, 
and your whistle. Really? Can I have a look? Well, I'll go to see in a bucket. That's my whistle, all right. Where'd you find it? Hey, <laughs> you're not looking bunch, aren't you? Where are you lot from then? Round here. Well, see you later, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Perkins. See you, kids. How long you live around here? All our lives. Really? Yeah. Stan? Matthew? How are you? Not bad, not bad. I've not seen you since that Manchester Pals. Oh, you were in when were it? Back in 21? 21. Hey, you're looking grand in the uniform. Good to see you working, eh? Uh, well, I suppose we've landed on our feet a little bit, what with this job and new corporation house. Ah, uh, I got myself a couple of days on Salford Docks. Nothing regular, like, you know. Still in the same dwellings in Ancourt. Mm. Why don't you uh, put your name down for one of these corporation houses? <sighs> we've tried. Me and Ed had queued up the other day at the town hall just to get a form just to be on the waiting list. 3,000 families queued up round the block. You know, we got to the front. They shut the doors on us. Well, the kind hell's chance. You know these houses were built for the likes of us, don't you? The home store heroes, they call it. No, yeah. too many heroes and not enough homes. Stan, listen lad, don't give up. Them babbies need a better start in life than we had, you know that. Mm. <sighs> I wish I could help you, lad, but... Anyway, where are you off to now? Hey, yeah, city game. Grand opening today. Hey, yeah. some of the dockers are going down, got free tickets off the gaffer, playing Sheffield United. Oh, <laughs> if I weren't on my shift, I'd be with you, lad. I'd be there with you. Hey, word of advice, though. Be careful doing that dog kennel lane. Some scallywags down there, I'm telling you. you know, I can take care of myself. I fought on the wall long enough beside you. You should know that. <laughs> anyway, give my love to Maggie. I will do. Hey, she's due her third. Anyway, it don't matter. Get off. I hope they win for us. Uh, well, we'll slaughter them. Uh, I'm sure we will. See you later, Sarge. Look after yourself, Stan. Good man, that. Stan Erding. Me and him fought together at Great Warm, front side beside me and him. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yeah, be a whistle. Well, listen, you look a bit lost to me, so... Follow me, come on, come this way. But what if he catches us? It'll be alright, we'll be shown the door. What will my father do then? Be out on the street, not bringing money home. Pawn your boots. It's no joke. Look, we'll be there for the first half and back for the second. And the foreman. He won't be there. He should be alright. Should? Look, just follow my lead, will you? What's the worst that can happen, eh? Oi! What have I told you two troublemakers before, eh? I won't put up no shenanigans of yours in my park. Not in my park! Now be on your way. Don't make me swear or blaspheme, lad. Now move! Move! Last year we uh, moved round here. I think we were one of the first in them houses. Ma Maggie, that's Mrs. Perkins. Her little ones think they've died and gone to heaven. They do. Ah, speak the devil alone, Maggie. Look what you're doing here. You should be on with your feet up. Put my feet up? Give over, will you? When have I got signs to put my feet up eh? Here, I brought you some sassy oh, cakes for your dinner. You're a grand Get lass. them, love. Oh, Mwah. And who's this lot then, eh? Well, they only went and found me whistle, love, that's all. Oh, that's an odd-looking budge, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Where's they from? We're from around there, Mrs Perkins. We live on the estate. Oh, where did you move from? We've lived there all our lives. Oh, you're lucky then. Wow, me and him, we used to live back in Ancoats, didn't we? We did. Oh, it was shocking over there, you know. In the summer, when it was really warm, they'd move us all out Put us all in, in the barracks, didn't they? You did. O over in where were it? Hardwick. Hardwick, you're right. Put us in there while they fumigated our house because it was full of bugs. Even in Babby Shaw. Ew, I eat bugs. You ate bugs? <laughs> You've never seen bugs like that in Ancourts, lass, I'm telling you. Oh, what were it? Big as that they were, weren't Bigger. they? Bigger. Cockroaches, I'm telling you. And when it rocked weather, oh my God, they come across that floor like a marching band, <laughs> didn't they? They did. <laughs> Oh, thank heaven for small mercies, eh? <laughs> we lived in two rooms up in Ancoats, we did. There were me, you, two babbies. And we were we were well off ones. <laughs> Our next door neighbours, Murphy's, they had how many? Four, four boys, wasn't it? Four, four boys, boys, three girls, mum and dad, all in one room. 
There weren't no corporation houses back then, so they built these here. You know, no inside toilets, no baths. <laughs> Aye, Alt Street, you share a toilet, lad. You got a toilet in the street? Ew, that's disgusting. No, well, no, it was a bit dangerous at night time when you had to go out or when it was chucking it down with rain. So how come you moved here then? Because of him. He thought, you know, brave he is as well. Fought in Great War. Yeah, a lot of lads around here went. A lot of them didn't come back either. And them that did weren't always in one piece, were they? No. Shocking it were. Right. I've still got my war wound. That's, well, I suppose I'll have it all my life, won't I, love? And I couldn't do my me, uh, me normal job on docks. And I've got three mouths to feed them, one up where you. Phew, I really thought I'd had it. He did. And you think, what did they come back to? No jobs, no homes, just the slums. And we are, we're lucky. We're very, very lucky. When Corporation built this park, Platt Fields, they give people like him, also old injured soldiers, jobs as park keepers. You know, you know they built the estate for all the old soldiers, so we're lucky. When was it built? 2022. Last year. You remember, don't you? I don't understand. What in there to understand? We're in 1923. Show you, Tommy. Anyway, I can't sit here all day. I've got work to do. Come on, Maggie, mm. lass. I want you to pair gates. Oh. And are you all right? Be back. Be yeah, back. Oh. And you young'uns, thanks for finding me whistle. Oh. OK. I've had enough of this, I'm going home. What if? What? What are you trying to say? If we're in 1923, yeah? And when you go home, there's no point going home because your mum and dad won't be there. Someone else will be. Shut it, Billy! Well, what are we here then? What have we got, Pat? Don't know, but I'm keeping this. No, you're not. You look a long way from home to meet up, man. Leave him alone! You got Irish in you. I've had enough, so they left me again. I'm going to knock you out. I don't hit little girls. Don't call me a little girl. It's a grand park. I don't even look at them and found my whistle, is it, really? Oh, 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 Lord of love, Maggie, are you all right, love? Are you OK? Oh, my Lord. Listen, children, children, go to 36 Waverton Road, fetch Mrs Jones to bring her back here. Don't dawdle, please. It's not your fault. Rush, it's, it's not just, not just bring fault. Mrs Jones as fast as you can. Oh, Maggie, love, are you all right? Maggie! Oh, please! Please! <laughs> And to what do you owe this pleasure? We're all really sorry, and we want to be part of the film project. We won't miss about. Hello. I didn't think you'd be here. I'm sorry, Mavis, but I lost your whistle yesterday in Platfields Park. But don't worry about the whistle. I've had it for donkey's years. I was born in Platfields Park 83 years ago. And it was my birthday yesterday. I was 83. OK. We're fully set up now here. Now, who would like to be the first to be interviewed? I've lived on the Wilburn Estate all my life. People fought to build our homes. It's my home, and I love it. <laughs> 